Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about yeah, such um, yeah how such a mold and how to cut it and add such a flange. I think here like this. So I don't need it myself, but um, this is a workflow. Maybe someone finds it interesting, or yeah. I record it so okay so here in a nomads cult so this is a uh, mold part one and this is part two and they are fitting together so they stick exactly on this trim line so or splitting line okay so I think I start from the beginning. So okay, I delete this objects here. And so sorry, I have to uh my mold is not perfect anymore because it's split it yeah okay let's start um with a new mold so let's mask this guy here so no smoothness so we need um, a height maybe let's use x-ray mode so okay i extract this thing here and so make it a little bit smoother more inflate so it's nice so and i remesh the whole thing okay now i clone the head and boolean it out so now the this is the mold and the head inside should be okay so now we need the head and I'm using the mask tool here and so oh, so we need a, a line where we want to split this mold so maybe here I don't know I don't need molds <coughs> so let's create a such a curvy thing here that you see it's not important um, that it's symmetrical so okay and here in the mask extraction so no thickness but smoothness so with a smoothness slider we can control the how sharp this thing becomes here so and now I extract this thing here so I keep the mask to control the thing so this is I rename it as one okay and let's check the wireframe so the wireframe looks like this and let's test the mesh so maybe there are problems so when I use the inflate slider you see here this 
this vertex is not okay. So I tried a few things. So, so I remeshed it with dynamic topology, uh, also not nice. And so I think the quad remesher does the best job. So I remesh the whole thing. And now it should work. So it's it's better. It's the best thing you can get, I think. Okay. So, and this here is the mold. Okay. So I hide this one and here in the MISC menu, I'm using um, the vertices for the reprojection. And so I reproject the mesh. So here you see now it's reprojected and nice. So the next thing is I need a um, so you see it fits exactly on the head, but I think I need the masking tool. So mask, the whole thing is masked and we need a copy with, um, so I set this here to uh, none and I'm changing here the, the height in a negative value I don't know where's my, ah, I have to mask it. So that's the problem. Here is my thing. So I go a little bit inside the head. So like this inside the head a little bit. And then I extract this. So this one is negative, negative. Okay, so let's mask this thing here and now let's go outside. And now I'm showing the mold. So I want it, yeah, this becomes the flange. So I extract it. Okay. So this one I don't need and this one at the moment. So let's see the solo view. And there are, yeah, this is not perfect at the moment. And so I don't need the whole mesh here. So I don't need this. I only need one side and the other sides I delete. So now we, we've got such a mesh, mesh here, such a band. And so here in the solo view, now I'm using cell masking. So front facing is active and I'm sorry, I mask the inner part here. Um, I turn off front facing. So, and now I'm using smoothing. So here I bring it back. I 
the position I like. I think it's okay. So, and this is our cutter. Okay. And now we need the mask tool and I tap here or I clear the mask, sorry. First I clear and then I mask it. And then, sorry, you need the mask extraction. So no smoothness. Maybe we add a few divisions. So I turn the wireframe on, looks like this. And then like this, extract. And this is cutter positive and then here we have to change the, the thing and press negative and this is a negative direction and this is cutter neck negative and the mold, so I clone the mold. And also the cutters, I think I clone. Clone, add, group. Okay. So I'm using the this cutter here, hide it, select the mold, and boolean. So let's see what we get. And this one we can now separate. So now we have two parts, this one and this one. And now we need our cutter group. So I don't need this sort of, what happened? Um, this is cutter, this is this one and this one and sorry, and this one. Let's see the solo view. Yeah. So this one, I use Boolean. Okay, and this one, and this one, Boolean. So I turn the wireframe off. And um, so a last thing is here to do. I think I would, I need the, a, the head, a clone, and I use the, um, the head and, and I Boolean the head again out of the, so let's check here the wireframe. Yeah, it seems to be okay. So a nice voxelry mesh. So with here, maybe keep sharp edges and remesh it. So the mold should be okay. Or maybe a higher resolution like this here. Okay, mold one. And then I clone it again. 
And I think this one. Okay. Yeah, it's a face group, you could fix it. So, and let's see the whole thing. This is the mode. And this one. This is the one we don't need. This is a head. The cutter we don't need. This one we don't need also. Ah, this is the front side. Hey. Okay. So let's see what we get. Yeah, so maybe you can use it or not. I think <laughs> if you do it 10 times, um, then it's no problem anymore. So have fun with sculpting. Ciao.